School was going to begin just a week from now and as usual I was buying school supplies at the last minute. I had new clothes, notebooks, and pencils. All I needed now was a new calculator. I went to Staples to get one and I couldn't find one. I found a clerk and asked him where I could find calculators. I'm sorry, but we sold the last the one an hour ago. Maybe it will teach you not to do last minute school shopping. I guess he was right, I mean usually people would do their shopping a month in advance. I went to every store that would sell calculators but they were all the same. I was about to give up when a package came in the mail for me. It was from my grandparents. I opened it up and inside was a brand new high-tech looking calculator with buttons I never seen on a calculator before. There was a note also. Dear Taylor. I know you are excited for your junior year in high school and probably will have tough problems and need a new high-tech calculator and also since all stores are probably sold out by now. So we thought to give you one that we found at a new store. Well, good luck. Love. Grandma and Grandpa. Great, now I got everything ready for school. I took the calculator to my room to get a better understanding of the calculator. On the calculator there were the simple plus, dash, x, etc. Symbols on it but there were some I had never seen before like one that had an a, but with a g in the middle. I decided to try the one with the a and the g. When I pressed it and showed the number 16. Then I pressed the, key to see more and pressed 5. I pressed enter and I felt a shock hit me. Just then I realized the world was getting bigger. When I stopped shrinking, my room had changed. For one thing, it was bigger and second, instead of sports and music stuff it had stuff that a preteen would have. I looked at the calculator and it showed 11. Did this calculator change my age to an 11 year old? I had to find out. I went to the mirror in the bathroom and staring back at me was an 11 year old. It did, but am I like this to everyone since my room and clothes changed as well, I thought to myself. I went downstairs and saw my mom cooking dinner. Mom, how old am I? You're 11 years old, you know that. Why did you ask a dumb question like that? No reason. I went into my room to do some fun things as an 11 year old. I went onto my computer to play games, instead of games like Warcraft, there was The Sims and Backyard Baseball. I spent maybe an hour playing, and I actually enjoyed playing the games, maybe the calculator changed my perspective on certain things. Later it was time for dinner and I ate like normal except for the part of eating a little smaller portions. After that, I went downstairs to watch TV, but instead of watching MTV or Spike TV, I had the urge to watch Nickelodeon. I watched it for two more hours until I felt a little tired and went to bed. I woke up and I briefly forgot that I was 11 until I realized the room and big and different. I decided to use the calculator to have some more fun. First I pressed the age button and turned back. Then I took the calculator to the park. There were young parents who brought their children. As a practical joke I turned the parents into a bunch of toddlers and the kids into middle-aged adults. They didn't seem confused though, in fact it seems as if they think that's the way they were always like that. I sat down on a bench watching it was funny at first to see kids who are now adults on a slide confused while the adults who are now kids sitting on the bench. I would change them back eventually after an hour. I didn't want their lives to be messed up because of me.